Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing all of the last minute details that you need to know about the GTA 5 Online Summer DLC that we'll be releasing in under 24 hours. Tomorrow, Rockstar will be releasing their first major update into GTA 5 Online in nearly half a year. And this video is your one-stop shop for everything you need to know about this DLC update, including the release date as well as time, the content that will be included, any details you may need to know, and then also all of the promotions and money bonuses Rockstar will be giving away during this update. So we got a ton of really awesome and also exciting information to discuss today, so if you haven't already, be sure to drop a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is your shout out of the day, and right after that, we're into the actual video. So today's shout out of the day goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Average Gamer. Average Gamer does some really awesome gameplay walkthrough videos of the best AAA titles on PlayStation right now. And he will also be doing some really awesome gameplay walkthroughs of top games on the Switch very soon. His channel is also a great place to go if you want to get a game but you don't know whether you want to buy it just yet, and finally he will be expanding into indie games very soon. Check out Average Gamer by clicking the first link in the description down below and subscribe to his channel for some really awesome gaming videos. But with that being said, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So tomorrow is finally the release date of the up and coming summer DLC to GTA 5 Online. Now the DLC will be releasing tomorrow, but as always, it is not going to be releasing right away at 12 a.m. Usually Rockstar releases DLCs around 11 a.m. EST, and EST, also known as the Eastern Time Zone, is the same time zone that New York City is located in, where Rockstar Games is headquartered. So 11 a.m. EST, give or take, is when Rockstar will be releasing this update, and of course, it will be coming out on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. As always, for all you PC players, especially people that are not playing on Steam, it is very possible that Rockstar Games servers will be very slow tomorrow to download this update, so be patient and I'm sure you will get into the game as soon as possible. Now, unlike other DLCs in the past, this update is going back to the roots of GTA 5 Online, and instead of having a singular theme and also a storyline behind this update, it is instead going to be a variety style DLC, and the idea behind this is that Rockstar had a ton of finished content lying around, and they didn't have separate DLCs to put it in, so they bundled everything up into one update and now they are releasing it part of the summer DLC. Confirmed content includes over a dozen new vehicles, ranging from off-road cars, supercars, and everything in between, new missions and adversary modes that only are exclusive to people that own yachts inside GTA 5 Online, about half a dozen new open-wheel Formula 1 racers from Rockstar, and also a brand new open-wheel race creator from Rockstar where you can create your own Formula 1 races with pit stops and share them with the world. That is all of the content that Rockstar officially confirmed so far, but they did say that on tomorrow, the day of the release date, they will be uploading another blog post to their website where they're going to be going over everything from top to bottom that is going to be included. And finally, they did say that there will be some evergreen improvements to GTA 5 Online, and when they say that, they simply mean that they will be making improvements to GTA 5 Online that have been requested and that make the game better to play. Now alongside this update, Rockstar will be introducing some new promotions inside GTA 5 Online, however, we don't exactly know what those promotions are just yet. Now as of the moment, Rockstar only has one singular money promotion going on right now inside GTA 5 Online, and that is only for Twitch Prime slash Amazon Prime members. I discussed this on the channel before, and I do want to mention it as a last minute reminder to everyone that you're able to get up to $1 million for an entire month of playing GTA 5 online just for logging on at least once a week. Learn more by going to the Rockstar Newswire where they describe everything that you need to do to claim this offer. Other than that, there isn't really much going on inside GTA 5 Online in terms of free money right now. This is very common for Rockstar not to release any kind of amazing promotions before a DLC update, because of course, when they do release a new DLC, it is a big money maker that a lot of people purchase shark cards instead of making that money by working and also completing missions. I still do believe that Rockstar will be announcing a new set of promotions tomorrow, so if you're a bit late and you don't have enough money to purchase anything from this DLC, or at least something that you 
want, make sure to stay tuned on this channel and also the Rockstar Newswire because they will be announcing a new set of promotions tomorrow that are going to be upcoming for the next week. So again, this update will be coming out officially tomorrow around 11 a.m. EST to all PlayStation 4 players, Xbox One players, and PC players, and it will be including a variety type of content, and if you think this update is smaller than it should be, you are totally correct, and that is actually for good reason, because Rockstar is planning the largest ever update for GTA 5 Online that will be coming out later this year. These are not my words, they're actually directly from Rockstar, and they did say that they are working on the biggest update ever, and as I discussed in the beginning of this video, this summer DLC is simply content that they had sitting around that was already done, and they were not able to release it for quite a while, so they simply bundled everything into one update, and now they are releasing it. One final detail that I forgot to mention earlier in this video is that Rockstar will be releasing over a dozen new vehicles, but those vehicles, unlike the other ones that we received recently, are going to be able to be customized inside Benny's instead of Los Santos Customs. Benny's, of course, is kind of like the upscale Los Santos Customs, where you're able to do fine details on your car that you're simply really not able to do inside Los Santos Customs, and according to Rockstar Games, a majority of these new vehicles being released are going to be able to be customized in Benny's, and then also it seems like that they're going to be releasing another Formula 1 car that you can purchase, and even that is going to be able to be customized inside Benny's. So very cool stuff right there, but another thing to keep in mind is that Benny's is by far more expensive than Los Santos Customs, which is for good reason you're getting much better customization over there, so you definitely want to go ahead and keep that in mind when you're customizing your new vehicles tomorrow because you're able to drain your entire GTA 5 Online balance within a couple of minutes. Now as I discussed in my video from yesterday in a bit more detail, I do suggest having around 6 to 8 million dollars inside GTA 5 Online for this DLC. While this is probably not going to get you every single item inside this update, this should be a pretty safe amount for you to purchase everything that you want to, plus a little bit extra. And again, Rockstar will be releasing a complete list of everything that is going to be included in this update, along with relevant pricing tomorrow morning before this DLC does release. But until then, that is all the information we have as of the moment. I personally am really looking forward to this update, and I'm super looking forward to seeing what they're going to be doing with these new yacht missions, because yachts inside GTA 5 Online have been something that have really been forgotten and nobody really cares about until now and hopefully they are making a big comeback. I am also looking forward to the open wheel race creator to play around with that and then finally I am really excited to see what the dozen cars look like that they are going to be adding with this update. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below regarding this update. Are you excited for it? Are you not? And if you are excited, let me know what you're most excited for in those comments down below. But either way, if you enjoy watching these videos and you find them informative, be sure to let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those notifications on, as you guys are always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. And as always, make sure to stay tuned on the Rockstar Games Newswire, the Rockstar Games social media, as well as this YouTube channel for the latest news surrounding this summer DLC. But either way, thank you again for tuning in today, I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.